rapid chloride permeability test rcpt determines the resistance to penetration of chloride ions the rapid chloride permeability test rcpt as per astm c1202 is commonly used to evaluate the resistance of concrete to chloride ions ingress owing to its simplicity and rapidity rcpt is an electrical indication of concrete's ability to resist chloride ion penetration it enables the prediction of the service life of concrete structures used for durability based quality control purposes the constant voltage v is applied to a concrete specimen for 6 hours and the current passing through the concrete is recorded to find the columns fill water in vacuum desiccator then after filling water we have to place our sample in vacuum desiccator and then we have to fill that specimen completely in water after that we have to cover the vacuum desiccator okay that's it Use silicon gel for proper this test determines the electrical conductance of the different grades of concrete mixes and indicates its resistance to the penetration of chloride ions standardized testing procedures are in ASTO T277 or ASTM C1202 now the vacuum desiccator is properly closed it monitors the amount of electrical current passed via concrete specimens now we start vacuum desiccator and make sure that the pressure should be to 50 mm at the in few minutes maintain vacuum for 3 hours the movement of ions in a porous medium under a concentration gradient is called diffusion it is often necessary to ascertain the impermeability of concrete to chloride ions as a quality control measure and assessment of improvements in properties of new concrete rcpt is measured in coulomb current is measured in ampere the coulomb is an ampere second means which means 1 ampere passed through the concrete specimen in 1 second is 1 coulomb and the charge passed is 60 seconds would be 60 coulombs higher the coulomb the higher the permeability and vice versa now remove the specimen from vacuum desiccator and place it in bucket or hmm, place in water bucket for some time before putting in rcpt mold Now we can fit the RCPT specimen in the RCPT mold. It's like this.
having dia 100 mm and thickness of 50 mm is cast and saturated the concrete sample is placed in between the two reservoir use silicon gel to make sure the specimen has proper contact with mold so that water may not leak from the mold the concrete specimen having dia 100 mm and thickness of 50 mm is cast and saturated the concrete sample is placed in between the two reservoirs known as a single cell having nacl solution in one reservoir and naoh solution in the other one these reservoirs are connected to a dc supply and the voltage of 60 volt is applied to the concrete specimen at both ends for 6 hours the current passing through the concrete at different time intervals is measured it is determined by an lcd that is connected to the cell Now we can place the specimen in the RCPT mold as like that and for that we have to place in 1% 3% NACL and in another 0.3 and NOH. For making NACL we have to dissolve 30 gram NACL in 1 liter distilled water and for 0.3 N Sodium hydroxide solution, we have to dissolve 12 gram of sodium hydroxide pellet in 1 liter distilled water. Now we have to connect all the bolts of the mold and make sure it is tight. Now we have to fill the sodium hydroxide portion as shown in the film as shown here by 0.3 N sodium hydroxide. The concrete specimen having dia 100 mm and thickness of 50 mm is cast and saturated. The concrete sample is placed in between the two reservoirs known as single cell 
having NaCl solution in one reservoir and Na void solution in the other one. These reservoirs are connected to a DC supply and the voltage of 60 volts is applied to the concrete specimen at both ends for 6 hours. The current passing through the concrete at different time intervals is measured. It is determined by an LCD that is connected to the cell. We have four channels as shown here, channel 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we have four separate RCPT molds. For connecting channel 1 to this mold, uh, we have to connect this sodium hydroxide to positive terminal and sodium chloride to negative terminal and another one or thing, it is connected to sodium chloride and then we start the RCPT test. Once we start, we can see there in the display the method ASTMC1202 and these are channels 1, 2, 3, 4 and here we have only used channel 4. So in channel 4, the reading is shown here, current is milliampere and temperature of the solution is 31 degrees Celsius and after 6 hours it will give the current it will give the charge passed we have to take reading in every half hour first immediately after starting the test and later in bit after every 30 minutes we have to take reading till 6 hours Concrete is the most versatile and widely used construction materials in the world. Its durability is the key characteristic that determines the lifespan of the structures. The structure can be affected by wind, precipitation or temperature. Factors for severity of deterioration should be carefully considered. Certain conditions and hostile environment may lead to the deterioration of the concrete too. Attacking mechanism can be chemical, physical or mechanical and originate from external or internal sources. Depending on the nature of the attack, care should be taken in various components of the concrete. Causes of deterioration of concrete and measures to prevent such damages which enhance the durability of the concrete structures freezing and thawing alkali aggregates reaction that is aar and ag aggressive chemical exposure and corrosion of metals abrasion fire resistance of concrete and cracking should be taken care at all stages of construction these reservoirs are connected to DC supply and a voltage of 60 volts is applied to the concrete specimen at both the ends for 6 hours. The current passing through the concrete at different time intervals is measured. And the calculation part will be in the next video.